So that's where I think that the real, the real attack, the real psychic attack was, is this propaganda that has been going on. That's, that's the last step. Yeah. As long as you can see, if, as long as we have 10 people in here and they're still believing that Jesus was came down and he was this European, it, it, it has everything running. But we have to understand that the Christian Crusades were the beginning of a psychological attack. It was just, well, you know what? If you run around talking about that, we're going to kill you. Once we establish that threat, mm -hmm. now you have people running around in secret, whispering, mm -hmm. and we know now, I can't say it out loud. So, let's just, okay. And that starts the psychological duress. Well, we know, so let's say that we're Christians. Although I don't really believe that, but I have to say it. But now, the practices now, let's fast forward two generations. Yeah, now they become... Legit. Now they're Christians. Yeah, yeah. Now, now your they're... grandchildren are Christians, even yeah. though you didn't believe it. But, yeah. well, listen, if you say that, someone's going to come here. And, you know, uh, I talked to uh, the president of an organization who's in his, in his 50s. He remembers in his lifetime priests coming to homes and checking to see if you had a Bible on the table and whether you're living, coming into your house. Catholic priests? Yeah, Catholic priests yeah, coming into your house and checking <laughs> to see if you're really living. And yeah. are you reading the Bible? You know, are you doing? <laughs> Check in. We might not have seen you at church, but listen. Uh, <laughs> what's going on in here? Okay, there's a picture of Jesus. Yeah, okay, you're good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see you next week. You know, so, and, and that's profound to me. The thing that the both of y'all are speaking about is called fear. Yes, mm -hmm. right? That's right. If you can, if you see, uh, a minute ago you said that uh, Christianity wasn't doing what it was set up for, but it did. Control. Yeah. That's what it was all about. Right. Sit. No, but I'm not denying that. I didn't hear. Or maybe I misunderstood you. No, I was saying that Christianity was set up as a form of control okay. at, at the yeah, time. Right. Okay. But what I'm saying is, because it was based in falsehood, because it never gave you any of those other levels. Now as we started. as we have evolved, finally we've gotten to the fact that you know dogs are talking now, right? So the dog now is reading the Bible, going something's messed up here, right? Yeah. So what I'm saying is, at the time, what they were using as that tool worked. Now it doesn't work it anymore. Doesn't work. Yeah. See, but right. but there's still a void. But it can't. It's not being filled because what they've done is they countered what should have filled it well, and poisoned. They poisoned the well. It's still working. No, that's yeah. what they've done. They've, they've but they've effectively poisoned the well. Right. So if you go if you go back into if you go back let's go back to the Council of Nicaea, right. right? When Constantine called his goons together and they said this is what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Christianity. It's going to be Jesus. Mm -hmm. A little while later. There was a brother, I think his name was uh, Aramis. Aramis, 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 yeah, yeah, Aramis, Aramis, yeah, right? And Aramis was telling everybody, like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. 20 years ago, this story didn't exist. Mm -hmm. So why are you believe it? Yeah, then right? they so, so, them, right? so they're, right, they got rid of it. They, yeah, they, they had to. And then that's when the time you started, you know, the Christian Crusades. Right. Like, they started coming in, and either it was, so they basically started what was called Get Down or Leave Down. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Either you're going to follow this doctrine, and it, and it well, carried on through all of these centuries, right? Through the Borgia family, um, yes. you know the Borgia Pope, yes. he's a Spaniard that got onto the seat, he bought his way onto the seat, yes. mm -hmm. right. and, and even all the way up until back in the 70s mm -hmm. with the with the, the, the tribe called the Panate mm -hmm. down in South America, where he actually went down there and rewrote the Bible in the Panate language mm -hmm. yeah. to get the Panate to believe that they yes. killed Jesus, yeah. right? Now. So, they, so they, were, they, they were still going hard and they right. still trying, but the problem is the age has changed. Well, that's what I'm trying to Pisces. say. It's no longer, it's right. no longer that age. Right. right. So, so like you said, that age is over, right. and now, now the age of Aquarius is coming in, and people just wait. I mean, you see all of that? What the Catholic Church just went through? Yes. Well, right. but if you notice this now, the Catholic Church, in my mind, if you're listening carefully, to what the Pope say, the Pope is, Pope was laid down. He's opened it up. It, it's over. He's but truth. what he's realized is that the train already is running. So, and I already think that they've got their end game plans already. He's yeah. just saving he himself karmatically. Won. What yeah. you're talking about yeah. right now, yeah. karma's right. finally caught up. Right. Yeah. And I'm glad you said that because ultimately, and I think this is for me. This is something, and I I thought many years ago. My uncle and I have talked about this. I keep referencing my uncle because he was the greatest influence on me. Beautiful. Uh, to get me to understand who I am, who we <clears> are, Mortar Schweigzi, Uncle John. This idea of recognizing that those in positions of power know that there is something in the spiritual law. Yes. You know I ain't shy. They know the spiritual law. Yeah. And essentially, they know that there are consequences. Wait a minute. You mentioned troglodyte nigger. You mentioned you know this. You mentioned that. Now you have to have a whole conversation yeah. about just that term. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make another one.
It yeah. gets and, convoluted. And then it gets lost sometimes yeah. right there. Because you have to speak well, to people in a language that they understand. Okay, I do and over reference I, things I, that they can accept. Yeah, yeah. I do, to I, even open their mind up to something else. I do understand what you're saying, but I'm saying as a. I think he's saying like as amongst the Moors. Yeah, 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 amongst yeah, the Moors. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I, you know, that's the part they give me when I'm with Moors sometimes or talking to Moors or whatever. I'm saying, geez, whiz, man. We're kind of talking like we don't know what we're talking about still. I understand what you're you talking about I mean? the references we use. But with Osai, Osai, right. Osai, people not knowing curiosity or whatever, even before we found, you know, like what Taj would say, the nigger industry. You know, I, I mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta see. It's a thing called acceptance. Mm -hmm. right. uh -huh. Let me. I, I I told you. I gave. I told this. I know what you class. mean, more. But I'm one of the more. I might chop off heads. No, just just one of the ones holding the sword and say, "Let me get this out." You believe in Allah? But no, I see some doubt. In the, you don't believe in Allah? So let me let me let me get this out. Mirror steel. Mirror steel. Mirror steel. You better go hit the mirror steel. Hey, Sarah. After that, we'll come in. I want I want you to catch on. Yeah, yeah. So go ahead. I hear you. So it is a story. Yes. Yes. Right here. So the eagle is doing what he does. He's he's up 200 feet, 300 mm -hmm. feet, and he's just up there soaring. Got his yep. got his wings spread, and he looks down, and he's like, "No world." So he comes down to the ground. It's a turkey sitting down there. Yeah. So he says to the turkey, "He say, listen, man, what, what's your problem, man? Why ain't you up here flying with the rest of us?" So the turkey say, "Look, bro, I don't fly." Mm -hmm. And he say, well, "What do you mean you don't fly? You got a beak, you got a tail, you got wings. Mm -hmm. You a bird just like me. Come on, yeah. let's go." <laughs> so the turkey's like, listen, bro, I don't fly. The eagle spent five years on the ground mm -hmm. trying to get this turkey to fly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Until he finally realized. That's the turkey. Turkeys don't fly. <laughs> yeah. So over the course of the five years, what didn't he do? He never spread his wings. Yeah. Right. He right. never stayed. He never, he never yes. continued to do what he should have been doing, which is be an eagle. Right. And respect the turkey. Mm -hmm. For being, being a, a turkey. turkey. Be the turkey. Leave the turkey on the ground, respect yeah. him for who he is, and you keep on flying. You understand yes. what I've been talking about? Right? Oh, I know. But I know when I see two arms, two legs, and a head, <laughs> arm, leg, 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 arm, leg, leg, arm, head, is all law to me. But you can't. This, this should master. But then, okay, so yeah. master teach. Well, you, you're not lying. That's ahead, what I'm brother. trying to tell you. Let me just. <laughs> so, uh, did you want to. You were back on the. What touch. I just got in here. Excuse me. Uh, yep. I heard so many things I want. I know, to I know, I realize that. <laughs> oh, no. Stick with the pulp, finish that. Yeah. Cause we, cause well, yeah. But <laughs> well, you started us down that road there. <laughs> I was just gonna going back to what you said about yeah. about the pope. Um, the pope has done a couple of things that appear in some people's minds to be destroying Christianity. Right? <laughs> of course. Um, his his uh, one of his latest comments uh, was when he said that uh, he believes that there may be extraterrestrial life. Yeah, of course. Uh, he also referred to capitalism as uh, a dunghill. Right. Because he sees the, the problem with being overly materialistic. There's nothing wrong with free right. trade. And there's a difference. When just, yeah, just for half a second, he also made a comment about Christmas, too, being about talking about how people giving all these people presents and all this right, stuff yeah. while people right. are suffering, right? Exactly. Yet, yet the very basis right. of where Christianity and all this stuff comes right. from is, that, is that, that very same pit. Yeah. So go yeah. on. So it's, it's, oh, it's, it's some people see that as very odd. That he's, oh. doing, he's stepping out on this limb, yes. right? And he's a Jesuit, right? Stepping out on a limb and making these proclamations, possibly because he has a conscience, and he sees what's coming, or because it's part of a plan. It's hard to tell. And it's like people will talk about the actions of President Obama. So, well, you know, I don't know if this is something that he's doing. Well, I can't believe it. I, I'm not in his shoes. Right. So but I can't determine. Let right? me step back to one of the comments you made. There are no coincidences. Right. And then also what we do know is none of those boys are stepping out on any stage like that, making any public you, know, you might catch him in the coffee shop saying that, right. but right. you catch him on the news saying that. <laughs> it's right. by design. You better right. believe something yes. else is going on, whether it's sanctioned from yeah. the body of whole. Well, well, let, me, I will well say, let me say quickly in reference yeah. to that. Hey, Holly, excuse the, me. The stories that came when out about the Pope are not really NBC, ABC, CBS. Oh, I know. <laughs> really, really not about that. I'm oh, late. I know. Yeah. When he said it in small context and people then right. got it. And well, but that's but the problem, as you've seen how 
society and all this is going now, yeah. something yeah. said yeah. at a coffee table oh. can become worldwide information oh, yeah, yeah. overnight. And so that to me is like where this right here. Yes. Right. Yes. right. But at the same, at the yeah. same time, <laughs> when, when you we think back every off, when we in there a matter of seconds. You, you, camel back, camel back, if camel you, back. If you, <laughs> if you understand that there's a movement now towards a world government, right? We cannot have a world government if you believe one thing and he believes another. There's no way that we can work right. together. Excuse me, y'all. So now, Taj just want to say hi to everybody. Oh yes. Islam. Hold on. <laughs> Taj, you there? Islam. 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 Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Peace and love. Peace Peace love. love. I'd like to say something before you go. There's no big eyes or little you. <laughs> 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 so, okay, you were talking about the so, being the world. Right. So, with, with the world government now, you have to, you have to, on a global scale, you have to dispel certain things before mm -hmm. we can even get to a place where people can agree to, to, to an be understanding by order, yeah. one. Yeah. Because those ones, I can't be a Palestinian and an American and a, and a this and a that and claim to be one power. That one power now has to be neutralized to a point where, oh yeah, Christianity was, you know, that time. But now Christianity, eh, those beliefs and things, those stories, yeah, they were just stories. Yeah? We have, so we have to now start telling the truth so that people can get to an even plane. But I think where you're right is that... Because I know people aren't stupid no more. But, but I think where you're right is that... They, you see, for them, they're, they've got themselves a situation because they've been sticking to a story for so right. long mm -hmm. that they've got a problem now right. because the same technologies or, let's say, uh, basis of information that right. helped you build this house now has now started to become, uh, started to become superfluous. It doesn't fit. It right. can't work. That's so right. we now have to change things. But now, now you're looking at a set of people who've been telling you one thing. Right. And now that's not the truth. And how do they come back? And I think Taj said it best. Where he's, he's like, you're not going to trust these same people who've been lying to you right. now to be the same people in power now again. That's right. right. So they've got a problem. Right. So the Pope, as you say, is secretly keeping his stuff alive by talking the truth now. Because the truth, right. as you say, will set you free. Because he can still have the love, right. but now he's got to talk the truth. But what you still have, you still have that other arm, and we were talking about this today with the eagle, with the with yep. the with the arrows and, and, and the olive branch, that there's an arm that still is about the arrows, that's still gonna do its thing. Yes. That still is about doing its that's thing. Right. And 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 secretly whether the Pope is actually inviting that guy in the back door to sit down with him or whether the Pope has closed the door permanently on him, that that process is still, still there. Is still there. Right. So, and that's what I think we're suffering from now, because I think we all know as a people that something's up and something needs to change, but they're still muddying the water. Yes. They're still muddying the water, right? While you're still having the heads of state trying to control stuff while playing these games. Then another interesting thing, which I found was very interesting, and I'll ask you on uh, one of these blurbs, news blurbs, it says that the Swiss bank, Johannes Baer, excused the U.S. from 550 million dollars taxes that it owed. And I thought to myself, this is interesting. How is the Swiss bank excusing the U.S. from taxes? So then it must be the Swiss bank That's really that the U.S. Right. owes the taxes yes, to. Of course. But so the Swiss bank, from what I understand, are the bankers for the popes. Isn't that, I mean, isn't it because we do know that that's, that's where all banking yes. comes from Switzerland. That's right. But what was very interesting to me, and remember the prophet said, keep watching the news and they'll tell you. So $600 million now, this Swiss bank is excusing the U.S. from paying. I said to myself, but something strange here. We're paying taxes to the U.S. So then the U.S. is paying taxes to someone? Yes. And who are those people? But they're, they're really naming that person <laughs> yes. without naming, that, per yeah, yeah. Without naming yeah. that person, right? <laughs> so what I'm starting to realize is that they are, the information's there. Yeah. It's all out. But the problem is, is like you were saying, I think we, some of us have been saying that it's really about meeting the people where they're at. My mom still isn't going to be able to understand, though she knew back in the day there was something going on with the buses right. and, and black and this, but 
to her, I talked to her, she was still, she was, well, you weren't there with Black Power. It's hidden in plain sight. And I was like, okay, I guess I wasn't there. And this is what we were talking about before. And when you were talking about Black and Amor, I was saying this, that we all started off Black, eh? You were born Amor, though you were born Amor. There was a period of time when you were calling yourself Black. Oh, because James Brown, Brent, James Brown. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> no, 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 but what, 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 what I'm saying to you, what, but 